Welcome to Staying Relevant, the podcast hosted by two DOS best friends, Sam Thompson and Peter James Witt. So when you say like two and then DOS after, DOS is a bad word. At what? DOS is like <laughs> so by two <laughs> best friends. So you either say two or DOS as in two. We have two <laughs> best mates, Peter James, Jonathan Joseph, Jonathan Wicks and me, Sam Thompson. Jonathan. Mm, interesting. <laughs> um, so this is the bonus episode, which means this will be out on Thursday. Uh, so you can watch that on Sunday on YouTube or... No, not or. And and you can watch Monday's main episode tomorrow on YouTube, which is Friday, which means that you can catch us on a Monday. Thursday, a Friday and a Sunday. We have a new gentleman who's part of the team who is really enjoying the repetition of Monday, Thursday, uh, <laughs> Friday, Sunday. Um, I will be swearing, but I am not drinking. Um, I have got a range of soft drinks today that I may, uh, if I fancy, wetting my whistle. He's gone from a full fat Coke to a ginger beverage and a Fanta Orange Zero. Yes. Yes, I have. Uh, so the bonus episode is normally always about you. Uh, so if you want to be involved, send us in your stories, dilemmas or, or whatever else and send in all of your stuff to stayingrelevant at insanityhq.com. Socials as well, because we're going up. Uh, that's what I was looking for you. We're going up. Mate, we're on 240,000 followers on Instagram. So we may hit the quarter of a million mark. Yeah, we're going to be quarter of a millionaires, bitches! Have I ruined us? No, you've ruined yourself. You're going to have to carry us through. Uh, it's, uh, listen, oh, what a change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking change. I'm the man of beef today, and I'm not a fan of Red Handed. Beef Man. Red Handed, the podcast, okay? There's been a little bit of back and forth since the, uh, the I'd, podcast I'd awards. I'd like to point out that it's kind of one-sided back and forth between Sam and Red Handed, because I couldn't give a fuck. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's because they, they, they... Sam's got the ump again. <laughs> yeah, but do you know what it is? Because they put a fucking Insta story out, right? Our producer showed us this. They put a story out, but like, we've we've just been told we're up for a trick award as well. We've just been told. Ah, oh, we've just been told. We didn't we didn't know. Just been told. And uh, and they went, you can vote here. And they blocked out staying relevant in the link. So everyone else is shown. But then when they go press the link here, they placed it over staying relevant, the podcast. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's fucking good trolling. It's really good trolling. I'm going to say it now. I will say this for Peter as well. We obviously put the clip up of um, the Trick Awards just forgetting that Pete sort of co-owns the We haven't podcast. had an apology from Trick. We haven't had an apology from Trick so far. When we, I looked at some of the comments, Pete, and I think you should too under that Trick Award clip, and you are loved. You are loved by our, there we go, there's a snort for you right there, by our staying relevant viewer. They are, they, they are your family. Um, thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, Couldn't do this podcast without... To be honest with you, if if there's one thing that we've learned is that Pete could do this podcast without me, but I couldn't do it without Pete. I mean, I can't even argue with that. <laughs> um, so, anyway, let's move on. So, I've been told I'm not a that, and this is, this is again, I'm, I'm in a, a situation that I don't enjoy, as we all know I like control. I've not been allowed to see the first listener letter, which worries me. <laughs> so Sam is going to read the first one out. Please go ahead. A listener confession. No, it's not. It's oh yeah, no, it is a confession, and it's from producer Charlotte. From producer Charlotte. Charlotte has wrote us a letter. She sat three feet away from me. A listener confession. I'm terrified. Hi Sam and Pete. I'm just wondering whether you have nicknames for us, or you don't like. I understand this must be bizarre. Oh, God. Reading a letter from someone sat in front of you, but it was the only way I could think to convey this news to you. The truth is, I've been hiding a big, big secret from you about the tour. A secret that could potentially end both of your careers. Fuck. But now, it's time. You see, Sam and Pete, a day on day one of the tour, 
we were oh fucking hell we received a formal police complaint about the bus specifically from Nottingham police when we drove through their fair city the police reported us for causing a dangerous disturbance on the road tour agent Paul and I decided to conspire to keep this information from you to see if anything came of it the safest decision would have been to ditch the bus altogether but we didn't I can report that we haven't had any further action until this episode comes out, of course. Then who knows what will happen. But I thought now it was time. You're going to have to elaborate on that. What the fuck? What complaint have we Disturbance for what? For everyone who's driving past us and honking their horns when we drove through Nottingham. Nottingham police contacted Phil McIntyre. Oh, shit. like, you need to stop driving the bus around because because we're too fucking famous, baby! Is that real? Yeah. And I had to, and we waited until Paul was like, don't tell them and don't put them off the tour. Well, let me tell you something. Everyone took the piss because the tour bus wasn't rock and roll. Well, it fucking is now. It fucking is now. Was that police complaints? So I have a question for you. So is that, so did they see people honking and go, we don't like that? Oh, well, but it's also yeah. people stopping and shouting and all the rest of it, I imagine. Um, a, fucking, we are a... We're a disturbance. On, on the tour bus. Have you seen tour manager Luke, his Instagram? No. Oh, he's on a new tour bus. So, Beard we then. have changed the podcast landscape. We were the first people to ever get a tour bus. And literally a month or two afterwards, it's happened again. I, I just want to point out, I don't know if we were the first. Yeah, we were. I think that's a big claim. No, we were. We were the first podcast to a tour bus. I, oh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, all right, maybe. Okay, let's just pretend we are. I wonder if Jack mate, have got Jack the driver as well. Yeah, well, they've, de well, they've, they've got they've our tour manager. They've stolen our entire fucking team. Uh, yeah, yeah. But let me tell you something now. Jack, mate, won't be calling a fucking disturbance. Nope. <sighs> nope. Fucking bastards. But nope. you know what? We should be, we should be happy. Because... I'm happy for Beardy that he's still working because it was touch and go after our tour. It was, absolutely. I wonder if he's going to be bringing his pickled eggs. Oh, 100%. You can guarantee that he's sat on that tour bus now boring everyone with a pickled egg story. Yeah, we um, wish you well, Beardy. But not as well as our tour, but we wish you and Jack mate well. Yeah, we wish you a successful sort of round of applause. Yeah, he yeah, won't yeah. be screaming in underwear. One of these. Oh, a slow one. Okay, so moving on from uh, the legal ramifications of, of, uh, of our tour bus. Fuck, I want one of those thirst traps throw photos. The, throw away the key for being a fucking ledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want a thirst trap. I'm going to do a topless uh, thing where they like they put me against the car like this. And I'm like, ah! And they look down at the camera and I'm like... <laughs> do you um, have a mugshot? In, okay, let's be honest here. Let's be real. No. Are you being I, like, I don't have a mugshot. I'm sexy. I don't have, I, I mean, I am sexy, but I don't have a mugshot. Shall we move on? Let's move on. So next up, we've got a listener story, and this is from Caitlin. Hi, Pete go. and Sam. Love the podcast and came to the Glasgow show. I'm Caitlin, female, 30, and Pete Wicks could literally slap me in the face and I'd say thank you. <laughs> what does that even mean? What does that even mean? I like you, Caitlin, already. Um, is that in like a sexual way? Oh, it is in a sexual way. And I'll be honest with you, I would elaborate on that, but I'm not going to because it will just be cut out. Like most people, I went through a stage of being heavily into dating apps. Uh, if you could get an app for it, I had it. Being on most of them, it would lead to phone number exchange and some flirty chat followed by a picture video or two of a more adult nature. Wow. Sometimes you might create a bit of a back catalogue of certain photos so you had a good one to go to. <laughs> Anyway, flash forward to keeping my back catalogue in my photos. My at iCloud invited me to back up as I hadn't in a while. Blissfully unaware, I thought that that seems a good idea. There were some good ones in the catalogue, to be fair. Later that evening, I was engaged in earlier mentioned flirty chat and went back to the back catalogue to select a picture. As I scrolled through, scrolled through, I could see there were a number of photos that I definitely hadn't taken, like random trees, roads and tools. I thought this was weird, so scroll back further, only to be confronted with a selfie of my dad. At that point, I realised that any photos he had taken, I could access and vice versa. As it turned out, we shared an iCloud. My first thought was my dad is going to be confronted with a thumbnail of me making use of an adult toy amongst other images. People Panic love dildos! Panic immediately set in, and as, as most people do, I ran to my mum and had to fess up about what my dad might see. She unhelpfully found the whole thing hilarious, but suggested getting a hold of my dad's iPad and deleting the photos before he could see and be scarred for life. Unfortunately, as we were having this conversation, my dad was at work. 
with the iPad, having a lunchtime scroll. Oh, no. He also no. discovered we shared an iCloud. He's never told me fully what he saw, but it was enough for him to come home that night and immediately hand over his iPad to me, telling me to delete anything of mine and get my own iCloud account. You'll both be happy to know that I now have stored any adult nature in my WhatsApp and I have my own iCloud account. I love you both and please don't ever stop being you. XO, XO, Caitlin. Caitlin, what a fucking great, what a brilliant message in. You're getting a round of applause on the inside. That's great. And I appreciate the back catalogue because there's nothing worse when you are engaged in the flirty chat than having to wait for someone to create a photo because they're never happy with the ones they've got. So when you do take a, do a good one, yes, you should. Does it ruin the mood, Pete? If, like, if let's say, okay. I just, imagine if you're doing that sort of thing, I don't partake. Let's just do a little bit of a role play here, right? So so I'm, I'm whoever is opposite you talking over the telecommunication device. And so I'm literally like, Oh, I'm getting a bit steamy. So then, so then, so then, do you go scampering away and be like on it? And then do you like, I can imagine then if you're like taking 15 minutes, it kind of, you cool off a little bit and you're like, I'm not really keen for this anymore. But yeah, you need to, you, you know, you need to keep, you need to keep shit rolling. Yeah, exactly. So uh, it's like, here's one, of, here's one of me I took earlier. Yeah, I mean, you, you can do that or yeah, I mean, yeah. Because otherwise also I'd be thinking in my head, this is a bit grim because I know right now they're sitting there going... <laughs> Like trying to get Is that good how angle? you imagine they do it. That's how I imagine you doing it. Why would I be taking a picture of my arsehole? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's the angle for me, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> Love that, Caitlin. I'm here for that. Really Fucking like that. Really good, yeah. really good today. Super really happy. good. We're in trouble with the police and our fans are wrong Yeah, but in the I best possible way. Yeah, in the best possible way. Um, do you know what she said to us as well? Never stop being you. And we won't. We won't. Caitlin, I'm going to make this pledge to you right now. I'm going to keep screaming down the mic. On that note, I think we're done for this week's bonus episode. Um, it's been a really good one. I've really enjoyed it. The story's been great. Yeah, really, really, really good. Uh, we will keep you updated, of course, on... The police um, chase. The police chase. They'll never catch us. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, they'll never catch us. Where could you find us? <laughs> Apart from everywhere at the minute, actually. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot going on, isn't there? There is a lot going on. Pete is so busy over the next two months, he has not one day to film a TikTok with me. <laughs> so I'm having to call his agents up to book a day in the diary. They have been pre-warned that I am just so busy. Um, <laughs> no, I actually am. But, um, but yeah, it's happy days. There's loads going on. You're going to see loads of us this year, and it's really exciting. There's a lot happening. Um, also, very soon, just a little tour update for everyone for the Apollo. Um... We, uh, there are still actually some tickets because we, we're kind of just hoping that the old guard get a chance, you know, the day the ones. The old guard. Because you, you moan so much. So, so we kind of, yeah, we, we're trying to make sure that the old guard have got a chance. But there is still a couple left, I think, for the, uh, the last Apollo date. Have we sold out the other two? They sold out like that. Really? Yeah. Bloody Nora. Um, so the old guard, there are still some available. But I'm coming in on a zip line. That's all we, you need to know. We haven't know. kind of mentioned it that much purely because we do want some old guard to get some tickets. But I am coming in on a zip line. And Pete's coming in on a Harley Davidson. But also, um, uh, the tour bus shenanigans went so well, but we don't need a tour bus this year because it's literally 10 minutes from Sam's house and we're all around London. Um, so what we are potentially going to do, there's a couple of things, is um, we're potentially going to have a black cab that is wrapped to stay in relevant which is going to be our, our way to get there, which um, I'm, I'm, I've just told Sam about. He's just found out, as of you. We but, love a rapping. We love to wrap up. We do. Also, also... Uh, a bit smaller than a tall the, bus, though, the, the, Yeah, but the buses, that doesn't mean that we're not going to be on buses, Sam, because we are also going to have our faces and banners across <gasps> London buses. Shut the front promoting door. Promoting the Apollo. So if you see our faces on a bus... How many? I don't know. I need. I don't know. Because I keep seeing like don't you ask questions that I don't know the answer to. It makes me look stupid. But you, but you know, but you know, like like so. Jordan North at the moment is on every fucking bus of Capital Breath. I love Jordan, by the way. He's a really nice guy. He's been on this podcast. But if we could just sort of nestle in there as well and get a couple of our face on there, it'd be great. Well, there is going to be there is going to be some buses promoting and some nestling promoting and and some nestling. Um, so make sure you look out for them and send us pictures. We love to see the pictures. Honk, um, honk, honk. Yeah, we're not allowed our own because of the disturbance and the and, and the problem with the police. But we are allowed to 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 put our faces on other people. And we have a black cab that we're going to drive around in. Uh! So we are not fucking about. Also, uh, the whole room still doesn't know what the next tour is. <laughs> 
because I still haven't opened up the notebook again to tell everyone. But He's um, a tired man. But that will be happening very soon as well. I did say I, I, the one thing I wanted is I wanted to come on a zip line. That's the okay. only thing. Okay, that that I can tell you for a fact is not happening. That's it's on the agenda. It's not to be um, discussed. But what I will tell you about the next tour is is that um, <clears throat> is that it is a Sam led, Sam based show. How can it be a Sam led, Sam based show when I've never written a thing in my life? Because I'm going to tell you what you're doing. Oh, great. Okay, sweet. My, oh no, awesome. Um, but but this is very much a Sam show. It's going to be chaotic and it's going to be nothing like the first one. Oh no, the first one was good. <laughs> it's just... Yep. Um, and I feel like this could go one of two ways. I'm actually very nervous about this one. <laughs> I was very confident in, in the abilities that I had for the first one. This one. Fucking send it. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh, off your fuck, ta-da, I'm bored. We love you. We love you. We love this podcast. Staying relevant for life. Rate, baby. review and do all that crap. Get a staying relevant tattoo. Send it in. Yeah. Like ours. Like I'm doing the... F- oh, oh, actually, whilst we do that, we might as well mention that. Someone... I got tagged in, I don't know if you've seen this, has got the staying relevant tattoo and I signed her arm. She's tattooed my signature above it. Right into us, right in. Send a photo. Us about send, a send a photo. Send us a proper photo because what we will do is we'll hang it in the gallery. Send us a photo, yeah. we'll print it off. And, and we'll by gallery, gallery, we mean a piece of rope uh, just, just sort of dangling off the... Yeah, because that's fucking great. Love that. We do. We absolutely love them. I, it, it, weird enough, and we're going to stop here, but um, also, there is someone that's got my face tattooed on. Well, who's getting my face tattooed on? I was used as a, a as a thing for someone's face once before, um, which is fucking weird. Does no one want this guy? No. Okay. This I've has been a fun bone. Y'all yeah, look like Michael McIntyre with yeah, you, though. Know. Doesn't even look like me. Anyway, bye. We love you so much. Staying Relevant was an Insanity Studios production.